Hello friends. So this week we're going to talk about the brass family. So last week we talked about the woodwind family, which they're not made of wood. They can be made of anything, but you play that instrument by just blowing a stream of air. Think about blowing bubbles. Okay. This week we're going to talk about the four main brass instruments, the trumpet, the French horn, which is not from France, but it's just called that the French horn, the tuba and the trombone. So I'm going to review those again, the trumpet, the French horn, the tuba, and the trombone. Okay, so let's talk about brass instruments. Brass instruments, just like woodwind, they can be made of anything. We can tell an instrument is in the woodwind family if we blow into the instrument to make a sound. If an instrument is in the brass family, you buzz your lips. Buzzing equals brass instrument. So think a buzz light ear plays a brass instrument or a bumblebee plays a brass instrument. Buzz. So one of our instruments from last week is the saxophone. So here's Miss Powers with her bitmoji. She's playing the saxophone. She's awesome. I'm not a brass instrument. Many people think that the saxophone is a brass instrument. While parts of it are made of brass, you actually play it by blowing, not buzzing. So no. See, I've got my no stop sign here. Let's uh, watch a sh two short videos about some brass instruments. And then we'll kind of do some more review and more talking about brass instruments. This is impossible. Whatever. I don't want to be in the marching band anyway. Dear Tim and Moby, what are brass instruments? Do they have to be made of brass? Yours truly, Emilio. Well, no. A brass instrument isn't just any instrument that's made of brass. It's a wind instrument you play by making your lips vibrate. Well, a wind instrument is any instrument you play by blowing through it. But to play a brass instrument, you have to purse up your lips and make a kind of buzzing noise. When you want to hit a high note, you hold your lips together tightly and make a high-pitched buzz like this. And when you want to hit a low note, you relax your lips a little bit and make a lower-pitched buzz like this. Yeah, your lips make a silly-sounding noise. But if you put a brass instrument in front of them, watch out! Lots of instruments are made out of brass, but that doesn't necessarily make them brass instruments. Hey, right you are. They do have lots of curves and twists in them. That's because most brass instruments are really just long metal tubes. The tube is all twisted up in order to make the instrument compact and easy to handle. In general, the longer the tube, the lower the pitch of the instrument, although it also depends on the tube's width. Buzzing your lips against the mouthpiece causes the tube and the air inside it to vibrate, producing a clear tone. You can make the sound louder by blowing harder, and make it quieter by blowing more softly. Well, there are several categories of brass instruments. Valved instruments like the trumpet, tuba, and French horn allow the player to change the pitch of the notes by pressing down on a series of valves. Well, when you press a valve, a longer airway opens within the instrument. This forces air through a longer section of tubing and makes the pitch lower. The trumpet is the brass instrument that can hit the highest notes. There are lots of different types of trumpets, but you've probably heard at least one of them. Famous trumpeters include Louis Armstrong, Dizzy Gillespie, and Wynton Marsalis. The French horn is considered the hardest brass instrument to master. It emits a rich, mellow tone, and musicians play it by sticking their hands into the bell. No, it's not really from France. Officially, it's just called the horn, but the name French horn stuck in English-speaking countries. Tubas are the brass instruments that can hit the lowest notes. The length of pipe that makes up a tuba can be as long as five and a half meters. A concert tuba sits on a musician's lap, while a sousaphone, often found in marching bands, wraps all the way around the player. Well, slide instruments are a little different. Trombone players change the pitch of their instruments by sliding a long piece of tube up and down. 
The slide allows trombone players to slide smoothly between notes. And natural brass instruments, like the bugle, don't have any valves or slides. The only way to change their pitch is through the vibration of your lips. That gives natural brass instruments a very limited range of notes, so they aren't used much anymore. Well, it, you know, it helps if you have lips to begin with. It's not broken. All right, guys, now we're going to listen to some sounds that those brass instruments make. And this is just a cute little cartoon, but the actual sounds are instruments. It's not faked. French horn. Tuba. Sousaphone. Brass family. All right, guys. So this is the main brass family. You have the French horn, the tuba, the trombone, and the trumpet. Now, this video they showed a sousaphone. If you're in marching band, marching at a halftime show, or <coughs> excuse me, guys, high school or college. That's where you would mainly see a sousaphone, maybe in a military band. Otherwise, we're, you're really not going to see that in elementary or middle school. So, if you want to play in band, so you either play a woodwind, a brass, or a percussion instrument. And the three instruments, or the two instruments that we do in uh, elementary band are the trumpet or the trombone. So, those are the two instruments that you would possibly do if you are wanting to do band, if you want to do the French horn or tuba, generally those are in middle school, but I would encourage you to start now and do one of these instruments. Okay, let's finish the video. guys so let's uh, go ahead and review a little bit from last week timbre timbre say timbre so today uh, you have learned about the brass family of instruments we have four families woodwinds percussion strings and brass when we talk about different musical sounds whether it has a high or a low a woody a bright sound that's called timbre 
And so we're going to review why that matters. The timbre of someone's voice or of a musical instrument is the particular quality of sound that it has. So his voice has a deep timbre. Her voice has a high timbre. And the timbre of the violin is far richer than that of the trumpet. And again, not just in music, do we use the word timbre? Uh, if you hear thunder, you know, that's a, you know, you could almost call that a scary sound. You know that sound. Okay. So again, reviewing how do instruments change? Why do they have different timbres? By how they're played or, you know, how long or short they are and how they're designed. So those are ways that timbre changes. So let's review. Timbre <clears throat> is the description of sounds that instruments make. Smaller or shorter instruments make a higher sound. We talked about that last week. If you don't remember, go back and review last week's video. Larger or longer instruments make a lower sound. Let's think about that elephant from last week. Brass instruments are instruments that you play by buzzing or vibrating your lips. The saxophone is played by blowing air into the mouthpiece. So even though it's made of brass, it's not a brass instrument. It is a, it is a, it's a woodwind instrument. The brass family has four main instruments, the trumpet, the tuba, the trombone, and the French horn. So let's talk about what your assignment is this week. So number one, you're going to watch this video. You've already done that. Check that off. Number two, you're going to click on the form that is right below this video and answer the questions. Okay? I want you to have a good week. Smile and know that, uh, know that I miss you. Hmm.